Hi, welcome back. I'm Julian, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the different reasons why you might choose Notion over Airtable. So first off, I just wanna say that if you're here choosing between these two different apps, you won. Like, damn, I am really excited for you. These apps are going to change your life, one or the other, or maybe both. So that's one of two pieces of good news. The other good news is that these apps are also very different from each other. And so at the end of this video, it will be very easy for you to make a decision which one is gonna fulfill the needs that you are looking to meet. So I have a list of common questions that I'm going to use to compare these two apps, and there will be a winner for each question. All right, let's start it off. First question, how easy is it to learn? So Notion is most often used by folks looking for an aesthetic way to organize their digital life, although I will cover some other use cases later. Notion uses a markdown style of formatting, which basically uses design best practices to give you a limited but beautiful set of options uh, to use in writing text. It allows you to focus on creating the content because the aesthetic naturally just looks good. Notion has a very steep learning curve for the first about one hour that you use it. Once you get comfortable using the markdown format and rearranging content using blocks, it's generally pretty straightforward and really enjoyable to use. You can get pretty tricky with databases, which is the one feature where Airtable and Notion truly overlap. Databases are super powerful for organizing more structured information, but they're totally not necessary when you start using the app. And for me, I do all of my database work in Airtable. Airtable allows you to build custom workflows and systems really quickly, whether that's a productivity system like people do in Notion or an inventory system or a hiring system. Airtable allows you to go beyond what you could typically do with a spreadsheet because you can add logic and user interface elements like buttons. Within a couple minutes of using Airtable, you can import other spreadsheets, sort, filter, and group data, and it is miles better than other spreadsheet platforms for you doing these things. But on top of this basic functionality, you can go deeper and deeper into Airtable's features. So the conclusion on which one is easier to learn, I'm gonna give this one a tie. I promise they're not all ties. Next question, will it save me time? So being organized saves you so much time. So for that, both of these apps are invaluable. In terms of cutting down on time consuming tasks, Airtable definitely wins. My favorite example of this is when I set up a hiring system in Airtable. So previously I had people emailing me with their cover letter and resume and I had to kind of manage everything in my inbox, remember who I sent an email to, and then try to transfer all of that information into a spreadsheet. With Airtable, I set up a form that I embedded on my website. Applications, including the cover letters and resumes through an attachment, came in to my centralized Airtable database. And then I set up automated replies so that people immediately got an email when they submitted an application. And I could even hit a little checkbox to email them to schedule a interview if I wanted to move forward. Next up, am I learning a valuable skill? So we'll start with Airtable. Airtable is actually used by 80% of the Fortune 100. So it's becoming a very common app to use in the workplace. As everything goes remote, teams are switching to more collaborative cloud-based tools and Airtable is one of the best of them. So it's definitely super useful at the office and could be a great resume builder or differentiator for you uh, if your potential employer is using it or maybe even to upgrade the systems at your current job. For Notion, I would say yes, for yourself, it's a super valuable skill. It's great for personal organization, but in my experience, it doesn't have as many business applications as Airtable. Fun fact, Notion has something like 12 times the amount of users of Airtable, but they actually have similar revenue, which kind of makes sense, right? Because businesses are going to be the customers that ante up and actually start paying subscription fees. And so the personal versus business is kind of clear when you look at the revenue. So on learning a valuable skill, I'm gonna give this one to Airtable. Next up, what is the cost? Both of these apps are on the freemium model. I'll say that I've been using Notion for a couple years now and I have almost never run into something where I wish I had the premium plan. So pretty much everything that you wanna do in Notion, uh, unless you get into more collaborative team-based stuff is totally free. 
Airtable has a very solid free plan as well. Almost all of the features that I've mentioned so far are included in the free version, but they get you with all these little jabs like premium colors and uh, certain view types and just these kind of little things that when you're using it, you're like, ah, I wish I could have that. So you're definitely reminded pretty often that you are on a free plan versus a paid plan. If you're using it for business, the cost is pretty reasonable, but just using it for personal things, I think most people would choose to go with free. And so because of that, I'm definitely gonna go with Notion on this one. So if you've been keeping score, Airtable won this match, but I would say that's really more of a reflection of my needs versus the actual value of each of these apps because they are both truly incredible pieces of software. I use both of them every day. Actually, the outline that I'm using to film this video is in Notion. If you're interested in learning more about one or both of these apps, check out these videos here, which will give you tips on getting started. I jump for joy anytime someone likes my video, seriously, and I love chatting with you in the comments. So I will see you down there and thanks for watching.